Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Danielle. <laughs> I am Danielle. I am she. Um, today we're just gonna do uh, a little spread, a little message for you and I. Like you and- what the fuck? Me and the collective. You know, I am part of the collective as well, okay? So these messages also apply to me. I hope you know this. I hope you know this. We in this together. So first and foremost, we're, we're just going to use some oracle decks today. I'm not feeling car called towards the tarot. Tarot is good for stories, characters, and stuff like that. Whereas oracle allows me to be a little bit more, personally at this time in my journey, a little bit more intuitive. Anyways, so let's pray. Also, don't get stuck on the fact that I say Father God. It just, just works for me, okay? <laughs> Father God, Holy Spirit, ancestors, guardian angels, guides, thank you for rising me up out of my bed this morning and thank you for connecting me with the collective every day. Right now, please allow me to communicate clearly with the, the collective all the messages that are in our greatest good surrounding our material abundance, sustenance, the relationships closest to us, our personal ascension and development, and any other messages that you deem worthy at this time. Thank you, Father God, Holy Spirit, ancestors, guardian angels, and guides for everything that you do for me and the collective on the regular. All of the healing energy, the support, the love, the guidance, and the protection. We are nothing without this, and we are nothing without you. So, glory be to the most high forever and ever. Amen. Thank you. Oh my god. Alright. Let's see. Let me just drop in. Feel free to close your eyes and breathe with me. So, so the messages that are needs to hear today. What messages the collective needs to hear today? I'm hearing you're on your way. What is that song? I feel like that's from a movie, like you're on your I feel like it's a Disney movie. You're on your way. What the heck man? So maybe a lot of you guys feel like you're having dark nights of the soul where you where you forget like you forget your why you forget your passion you forget the point you know and the message is that even when you're in those spaces the time that you spend there is not wasted there are valuable lessons that we learn when we get to really have time to sit with our shadow Okay, this came out once before when I was shuffling in this time, and that is honestly what I was feeling when I closed my eyes, was um, shining through. Number 30. So three. First, I'm called to the fact that three is a number of community, communication, connection. There's, there's almost this layer of fearing to connect with people. This has been, I've felt this for for a long time okay i have a scorpio moon but regardless of the scorpio moon in my opinion in my position it's very it is very challenging to not allow our past to dictate how soft and open we're going to be with people shining through is allowing it feels like through your dark nights of the soul through the time that you spend with yourself introspecting and really just feeling a little fucked up honestly that you allow your inner light to shine through you allow the last word to be something that is uplifting something that is powerful something that is empowering something that is true something that feels good in your being i always say that it's we can tell when something is untrue when we tell ourselves lies because they really hurt they really hurt saying things like i'm ugly or whatever like it hurts it doesn't feel good and that is um your emotional navigation system just letting you know like yo you're way off you're way off that's not true so source can you tell us a little bit more about this okay thanks we have it is what it is in the divine matrix wow yep the message for this is literally it is what it is you can't change it you cannot change what has been done and the more you try to change it the more you're just losing the energy that you have to 
put into the now. Divine Matrix, Matrix is unplugging from the matrix what is the matrix if you don't know what the matrix is this is the society how it works like the television um instagram youtube whatever just mainstream media unplugging from other views and plugging into the divine matrix that happens from within you your heart center from your soul evolution what you feel is true what you feel is true What is your path? What has been destined for you? It is what it is coming out with the divine matrix is that you can't change as much as you want. One, one person cannot change the whole world. It's, it's an organic evolution. Revolution happens over time. And it's always darkest before the dawn, meaning like we can apply this to the way that the world is. It's very dark. Things that are happening are very dark. Evil exists and it's being exposed and shining through, th shining through the bullshit. Shining through the bullshit. Refusing to make yourself small just to belong. Yeah. Step into your true power and essence and offer it up in service to the world. Step into a new consciousness and seize a new opportunity to share your wisdom. You are a lighthouse. Who are you not to shine? The only validation that you need that you are meant to shine is from within. It's from source. It's from the fact that you have these abilities. I thought there was just a random dog, but no, there's an owner as well, but that's so cute. I love dogs. Okay. It is what it is. So this is radical acceptance. Radical acceptance. A door isn't an, a closing, a door, oh my gosh, speak. A door closing isn't an invitation to take a battering ram to it. When you are no longer in denial about what is in front of you, you will be empowered to make necessary changes with respect to yourself, your attitude, and your choices. And there's a cute little prayer here. It says, God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. God, grant the collective the serenity to accept the things that they cannot change, the courage to change the things that we can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Amen. Beautiful tea. Divine matrix. Learning to trust the way that things unfold. Imagine that everything possible under the sun is waiting to be claimed. You are not separate from what you desire to manifest. Everything is intrins intrinsically connected within a vast living web of life, a divine matrix. You're being invited to be conscious of the pattern that you are weaving. What you do matters. All manner of miracles are waiting for you to claim them. Are you ready? Yeah, it's it's needing. It's uh, the energy is like okay. We know that the we know death is here. We know evil is here. We know that there's hurt. We know that there's pain. We know that there's darkness. But it's really redirecting our focus. We really need to redirect our focus. And divine is like I know that it's hard to keep balance right now. When I was meditating at the beach, it felt like I saw this this stone like this, and then you know those Bosu balls, half Bosu ball. That's basically what it was like, but on top of the stone, and then someone just meditating on that. It's like trying to seek balance in in a time where the foundation itself is rocky is difficult. Acknowledge that for yourself. Acknowledge and take account the factors that are making things more difficult for yourself. Give yourself that recognition, that validation that you need that says things to find balance in the way that things are right now is a challenge. And tell yourself that you're doing great. Tell yourself that you, what you need to hear. It is what it is and Divine Matrix. This is us needing to just radically accept what is happening right now so that we can move forward. So that we can allow ourselves to create with beauty to shine through.
I feel a lot of us have been focusing too much on what is going wrong. And yes, it's, it's so important to stay up to 